The Chaska banner details have gone live and it's a little bit disappointing in my personal opinion. Um, I'm kind of coping just a little bit, right? But I will say that, you know, I am excited for Chaska in general, but let's see if the Chaska and of course the Lenny banner are worth your buck. Now, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out, you know, all the wonderful things, including gamer subs, which you saw a little bit of a flash there. But we're going to do it right here. Gluten-free, keto-friendly energy. Uh, we just had the Kill Lil bundle pop up, which is fantastic. It's the Shy Lily bundle. Her fourth drop, by the way. She totally doesn't own the company or anything, or own part of it. <laughs> but it's a really, really good uh, set. Comes with a Daki Makara. So if you're like me, and you have random Daki Makaras in the background. You know, this is your chance to get a Shy Lily one. So anyways, without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive into the video today. Now, I have my concerns with this banner and I'm not going to like do it like I normally do. I'm just going to kind of, well, I, I probably still will talk about each unit, but I'm not going to give a thumbs up, thumbs down. We, I, I can already tell you right now, this is not worth it, but I'm going to give you my reasons why. So first things first, we have, of course, Barbara. Now, Barbara is a good unit to start out with. She's a good beginner unit. You get her for free in the game. She's a good healer. Good. But as you continue on with the game, you find better healers. Like, Kugi Shinobu can not only heal, but she could also do Electro Application, which is really, really big for Dendro teams. You have, you know, in my opinion, Dory, I think, could be a better healer than Barbara. Not to say that, you know, Dory's amazing, but I think that Dory gets a lot of flack. I do think she can actually heal. Yao Yao, very, very good at healing as well. Uh, and that's not including the five-star healers. Like, Kokomi, obviously, is really, really good. Baiju... There's just so many units. And then if you're looking at support units, right? Like you could even make the argument that you don't need a healer if you've got a shield character. So we got shield characters like Toma, uh, you know, freaking what's the stupid cat's name? I can't remember. I don't know how I, Diona, Diona. Yeah, stupid cat. Toma, Diona, Zhongli, you know, Baiju again. You know, there's so many different units that can substitute for Barbara. Um, Again, Barbara's really, really good at the beginning for brand new players. But I do think that that's where the limitations are. Beginner players will benefit heavily from a Barbara, but not if you've got better healers. So let's talk about Sucrose because Sucrose has been in since the beginning of the game, right? She's one of the first four stars that we ever got in. She's pretty dang good still. Like, she's still very viable. You don't get her for free. So it's like, why am I saying that, you know, she's, you know, bad to summon for? Well, it's not to say that her kit's bad. It's just that there's so many other characters that can fulfill the purpose of what she's able to do. But I still think that she's still considered top tier. Like, if you're running a aggravate team, you're not really worried about using something like a sucrose right you're more worried about using you know your dendro characters your electro characters um if you want to run swirl on your teams like she's really really good for that you know especially if you don't have the likes of kazua which is still goaded right so sucrose is still good it's just that she's been here for a while if you don't have sucrose on your account you're either fresh fresh brand new or you just have been really unlucky not to pull a sucrose um, but Sucrose is still decent, right? Now let's go and talk about Auroron, right? Auroron, I don't have much, you know, experience in because we only got to see what was going on in the actual, like, live stream. And he looks pretty cool. Like, Electro 4-star boat user? Where have we seen that before? Oh, wait, we got Fischl. But nobody else outside of that, right? Oh, wait, Sethos. Well, they're not all, like, somewhat DPSs, right? Right. Okay. You, you, I made my point. I think that Auroron is basically based around being a DPS and being able to shoot from the air, which is very unique to him in that regard. However, I don't know if he's going to be that replacement in regards to the Fischl's and even to the Sethos. I haven't been able to use Sethos myself, but he seems pretty okay as well. Now, with the Roron, I'm so excited to pull him because I like his design in general. I know people will probably, hate, like, really disagree with me, but I like his design. So, to me, I think he's a pretty cool unit. 
but I don't think he's somebody that you should be summoning for unless he's your husband. -o. That would make sense, right? So there's that. Now let's talk about Linny. I get into not really arguments, but more so discussions with people about who the better five-star pyro users are. And of course, Arle Arlequino is right there. Arlequino is at the top. You, you don't mess with Arlequino. But the second spot, there's always an argument between Linny and Hu Tao. Now, it really depends on your play style, right? If you're not necessarily used to being a bow user for a DPS, then Linny's not going to be your go-to. It's going to be Hu Tao. If you're used to, you know, more of the bow style, then Linny's going to be your go-to. Linny's damage output can severely outpace Hu Tao. But it's all dependent on if you're actually going to make your shots. So if you make your shots, you're great. If not, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. So to me, I feel like if you're running a pyro DPS, usually for me, I'd say Hu Tao because it's the most safe choice. Linny is high risk, high reward because you could miss a shot and that's messed up. Granted, most of the bigger characters that you're going to be going for or the bigger enemies, I'm sorry, that you're going to be going for are big so it's very very easy to hit them but you know at least with hotel you could wipe out swarms without having to worry too much but then again so can Linny in some cases but i don't know i just feel like i've had more success with hotel than i have with Linny. maybe i need to play Linny some more i don't know we'll see but overall Linny, i don't think it's somebody that you should be summoning for if you're gonna summon for a pyro dps wait for arlequino because arlequino is just that dang good she surpasses both Utao and you know Lenny and also you and me up so now let's talk about Chaska now I would not recommend people summon on Chaska because Chaska is going to be an animo DPS from what it seems like and animo DPSs are not bad but with the you know Malvika drip marketing probably going to be happening very very soon I'm like literally expecting it to be the next like, it's going to be later today. I'm almost positive about it, right? I don't know if that's the case. This is just speculation. So I want to preface that. Oyoverse, do not come after me. I am literally speculating that Malvika is going to have drip marketing today. However, I don't think that, or at least I, it's hard. If, you, if Malvika is actually going to be there, then I would look at people and say, like, unless you are going for, like, collection or if you really, really like Chaska, it's not worth your time. However, Chaska's really, really cool kit. She has a really, really cool kit. Uh, you're able to fly on a gun. Nothing more American than that, right? Um, and she has infusion stuff built into her kit in regards to pyro, cryo, hydro, electro. So you have a lot of different things to consider with this. So me, I want to fly around with a gun. I think that's going to be cool. That's why I'm going to be summoning. But that's going to be really dependent on if that's what you want to summon. So overall, should you summon on Lenny and Chaska? I don't think so. I think that you should skip for now. Uh, part two's banners are gonna be a little bit better. You have uh, Zhongli being one of the best shielders in the game, probably the best to be honest. Um, and then you have Nouvellet who's considered one of the top five DPSs in the game, probably number two, maybe three could be argued, but I think number two. So really skipping Lenny and Chaska seems like the go-to, right? But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And definitely, like, let me know. Because I want to hear y'all's opinions about these characters coming out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And also check out, obviously, push the button. Gamer subs. There we go. Use code Tyson for 10% off. Guys, we are trying to get our own cup. And I need y'all to purchase as many things from Gamer subs as possible. Just do that for me. Just trust me on that. You won't be disappointed. Gluten-free, keto-friendly energy. I always say it. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it. Love you guys to death, and as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care, and be safe.